Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to part number 11 of the Victorian Mansion Let's Build. How's everybody doing? We're back today on this world and ready to continue to work on this place. Uh, I have some things I want to work on on the back today, but just a couple of quick updates. Uh, what I did was off camera, in between episodes, I added these windows above the garage doors. Um, they're all the exact same design. It's basically just a couple pieces of sandstone, some stairs and some upside down stairs, and then kind of just like a roof shape with some windows behind that. Super simple design. I didn't feel like wasting 10 minutes on camera doing this since there are six of them after all, if you count the four right here, plus two more in the back. So uh, just, you know, putting that in real quick took me at least like seven or eight minutes. So I didn't want to waste your guys' time on the video. So those are now put in, and I also added some windows on the back of the garage as well, and I just kind of spammed some leaves as well. So uh, that's just kind of what I did to the garage, just to kind of speed up the process, just to do some simple things that um, I can just show you guys at the beginning of the video. And then if you are following along, you can just go and add them right now. So getting into what I want to build today. Last episode, we worked on the foyer here, and I think this is pretty good. Um, you know, I took some time to kind of step away and look at it and come back and see if I still like it and it's checking off all the boxes. So I think I'm going to leave it how it is. And this room is something I'm going to work on today. Um, and I'm also going to start to fill in some of the walls of the floor plan as well at some point. Not sure when I'm going to get to that. It might be towards the end of the video because I do want to work on some of the back walls a little bit more, finish up the sunroom amongst other things. So I'm going to start off over here today. And originally I said that I was going to keep this box shaped uh, I guess wall here connecting this is room on the inside connecting the two garages I've decided that I'm going to mix this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, start to rip up a little bit of this thing and And see what I can change with it because I think I want to make this thing kind of like a curve shape and I'm gonna just gonna kind of go for it and see See what I can come up with here and hopefully this will be something that's an improvement Really, that's all I'm trying to do is that if I start something off um, and if I do decide to change it I want to try to improve it. So I'm just going to kind of open up some space here for some sort of curved window design. So uh, right here we got five blocks. I'm going to trim that down to four, I think. And the same thing goes on this side. So right there. And basically what I want to do is just kind of have the same, you know, relative dimensions of this place, you know, where uh, it would come down this way and then go back that way. But it's going to be kind of curved instead. So I'll go two there, two there, and then one. And I think that'll look pretty cool. So I'm just going to start to fill in some sandstone on the top of this. And then we got to re-add the sandstone up here like that. And then I got to figure out what I want to do with this roof now. So this part might get a little weird. Uh, I think I'll break that. I think I'm just going to go simple, the simple route, and just extend it one block past each one of these sandstone walls. So we'll go like that, replace that, and then... All I got to do now is just add slabs again and then throw down some quartz underneath of that. And there we go. We have ourselves a little bit of a curved shape, but it's not done yet, everybody. We still have more we can do on it. I'm going to add another level here of some sandstone. And then I think I'm going to get some black stained glass. And while I'm doing this, guys, I just want to quickly thank you guys for the support on the Let's Build. This has uh, been probably my favorite Let's Build I've done since like last summer. So... I've had a lot of fun building this thing. I, I wasn't sure how long it would take before I kind of got, uh, or I kind of like ran out of ideas for this house, but I still think I'm you know, going strong through like 11 episodes. And uh, you guys seem to really enjoy the, the build and, you know, I am too. So I, I just wanted to quickly just, you know, step out and just say my thanks for that because you guys have been, you know, really seem to be really liking this. So we'll do something like that above the windows and then I'll do something pretty much the exact same thing below it. Kind of what we did on the other side for on a smaller scale. And I put this um, sandstone down the middle. I don't know if that's a good idea or should I add quartz here just to kind of break it up so it's not all sandstone. Quartz might look better there. And then what I could do is I could add quartz here as well on the sides of this window. So something like that. And that might look pretty good. Actually, I don't really like it like that. I think it looked better with the sandstone. So I think I am going to change it back. Just a thought that, that counts, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, this this thing looks pretty good. I don't think I have to do too much more with this. I just wanted to kind of curve it. I'll stay, take a step back and look at it again, but might even quickly grab some uh, cobblestone walls. Those always escape me, I swear. And then some hoppers. I'll get used to it eventually. And then I think I'll grab some anvils and some leaves and make myself a Danville's anvil right here on this side. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to do a one of those um, you know storm drain things. So we'll, we'll do that. So we have those all over the house. 
There we go. So just kind of have like one thing on each side. Yeah, that looks good. So let's take a look at this from a distance. I like that. It, it just adds to the uh, to the Victorian theme, I guess, with the curving. Because there's a lot of curvature in Victorian architecture, which is difficult to replicate in Minecraft. But trying my best here, people. All right, so next thing I want to do is... I'm just going to... I'm not going to use swiftness for this build. I'm just going to refrain. But I'm going to add some dark oak wood. And I'm just going to run this down through here. And what this is going to be is the porch on the back of the house. So we're going to get working on this thing today. Hopefully it'll turn out nice. But basically I'm just going to start by, you know, just filling in this dark oak wood basically. So just kind of run this across here. Take it all the way down like that. And now we just got to figure out how we want to uh, put this porch in. So I think I actually took this out one block too far. Because I don't want this... I, I want a nice connection here. So we're going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is grab some pillared quartz, some stone bricks, some cobblestone walls, some quartz stairs, uh, quartz slabs, uh, and I think that'll be good for now, and some anvils. And I'm going to make a railing and a porch pretty similar to what we have over here. So we'll have kind of the upside down stairs, regular stairs, anvils, stone bricks, cobblestone walls, kind of all mixed and matched throughout the front of the house. I thought that design turned out really nice. That's like one of my favorite parts of the house. So I'll do something kind of similar on the back in terms of style. So I'm thinking one block away, just kind of like what we did on the other side. Probably wise for me to line it up with the center here. So everything's all symmetrical and pretty. So this right here is the center of the house in terms of like the door. So uh, the staircase would probably be right here. So if I want to go there and there, there'd be a three block gap. And that actually kind of matched up with that... Uh, that corridor right there, so that's cool, or archway, or whatever you want to call it. And basically, the doors for this porch are going to be right here. This is the porch uh, connection to the kitchen, which has already been put in. And then it's cool because there's a, a door symmetrical straight across here as well that goes to this porch. So it kind of like works out nicely. Nice symmetry that I like, and everything's starting to come together. And then on this side as well, I think I'm going to add a, a door probably like right there or something like that. It's uh, undetermined, you know, where exactly that door will be, but it'll be on that wall. So we'll have two entrances to the porch, one from each side. And you might be a little bit surprised that I'm not throwing down a door right here. Reason why is I'm going to add some nice big windows there for that great room. So that should look pretty nice. I'm just going to quickly fill this in just while I'm at it. There we go. And let's continue on with this. So we have three here, three here, which is perfect. One block away there. I think we had something similar on the other side, so that's fine. Uh, we got to hopefully this lines up nicely. So if I mean, if it if it lines up with the math, it should line up nicely. So so here and here. There we go. Yep, it works perfect. All right. So we're going to start to take this up a couple of blocks here. Uh, just I think we'll take it up three, I guess, because it'll go one block above. So there we go. And then underneath here, I'm just going to start filling this in with the stone brick. Very similar to what we did on the other side. And I'll figure out a area where we're going to have a, a staircase. So we're going to need uh, some stepping downstairs into the lawn and the backyard eventually. So I'll figure out a spot for that as we go. And then same thing right here. So this kind of like connects really nicely. So I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, next thing I want to do is do some upside down stair, regular stair combo that we've been doing throughout this, uh, the build on the uh, second half or the other side, I should say. There we go. And then we're going to take the anvils and run them across here. Kind of fill these in without opening them. There we go. We have our railing now. And then the next thing I want to do, what should I do next? Um, I got to figure out a spot for like a staircase down. And I, I honestly, just looking at it right now, <laughs> I don't see a better spot than right here. Lines up perfectly with the door on the other side of the house. That, And it actually lines up with the uh, staircase on the other side of the house too. Perfect. Everything's coming full circle, everybody. It's starting to come together here. It's always That's always the most exciting part of a build when you're doing a big build. Once you kind of like have the idea mapped out in your head and then once you start to build it and then you see like the symmetries and everything starting to come together. That's what we're getting right now, people. So we have the staircase down. We'll refine that later. And I think I'm going to take a couple levels up of, of uh, stone brick and or no, this is not stone brick. This is uh, cobblestone walls. Excuse me. I always get these blocks mixed up when I'm trying to build and talk at the same time. There we go. And then this is going to be much, this is going to be the part that's going to be different from the other side because I'm going to have a balcony on the second floor, which connects to the master bedroom, which is going to be up here somewhere. So that's going to be different because on this side, we kind of just have a angled roof 
pretty much. So it's not going to be like that on the other side. So we're going to make that uh, modification to this thing. And the way I'm going to do that is just kind of take up some pillar quartz and I'll just run this up a couple of blocks here. It's just going to look like these weird, you know, shaped things right now. Whatever that looks like, that's what it's going to be right now. And then we're going to add detail around it. So we're just going to kind of start off with the, the core of it, you know, kind of just the pillars and then start to build around those. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is probably do some upside down stair mumbo jumbo. So we'll have this go all the way across like this. I think I'm just going to put these like on every single, every single corner here going all the way around every single side, I think. So we'll have that go there and there and everywhere. So just kind of surrounding this thing with the upside down stairs and do you remember minecraft without upside down stairs guys way back in the day seems like a, a millennium ago but it, it was a thing we did have to grind without the upside down stairs at one point i missed one whoops okay so the next thing i can do is grab some quartz slabs which i didn't grab in the first place and we can start to connect these connect the dots not there and just kind of have this run down and that's going to connect to the wall so that's fine and this will run down right here and connect. And then I gotta take a step back and take another look at this thing. So um, so we still have more space to, to work with. Uh, what I should do is, before we go any further, I should decide where the second floor balcony is gonna be. So it'll be right here. This is gonna be the lining of it. So I just kinda kind of take this down and, and have it kind of run across out here. And this works perfectly because it's one block below the windows, and that's always what you need because your little characters are short and two blocks tall. Sometimes I wish my characters were three blocks tall so I can make windows two blocks above the ground. It would help with symmetry a lot more, but, you know, you got to make it, uh, not only do you have to make houses, like, scale to Minecraft, but you kind of have to, if you're trying to build something, like, based off real life, for example, you have to kind of, like, you know, scale it down to where, you know, the windows are you know, kind of low to the ground, I guess. Because sometimes, it depends on where you are, but... Sometimes windows, you know, will go up to your knees in real life. And, uh, you know, in this game, they go up to, like, halfway up your body. So, something you have to kind of work with. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some more upside-down stairs here. Just kind of run these across. Take them all the way down to there. And what else can we add to this thing? So, it's looking pretty good right now, I will admit. Uh, I want to add some stone slabs here because we did this on the other side. It, rare, very rarely do I ever stack stone slabs anymore, especially in the default texture pack. That seems like something I did all the time when I used to play this game back in 2012 when it first came out on Minecraft on 360. And I, I just feel like that was something that I used to always implement on my build, just double stacking stone bricks. It seems like it, but never. I kind of don't do that anymore. I'm going to connect that across right there. And then what I think I'm going to do is just keep on adding detail to this thing and I'm hesitant because remember how it worked when we first started this let's build on the second episode we just started spamming detail on the front of the house and it started to look overwhelming so i gotta be careful with this but i think if i just keep on you know picking away at it i think i can start to put something in here so uh we'll put the anvils here on the second level for the railings this is the balcony so there's nothing going to be above this so we can just cap this off with some slabs like i did let's take a look so there's the uh, the original or the initial um, idea that we got here. So as our you know back porch, I guess I think it looks pretty nice. It needs walls around it because it's hard to kind of you know put a perspective on this thing without the walls behind it. So let's start to add some walls in. How about that, guys? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some blue stained clay, some sandstone. And I'm just going to start to fill these in, guys. Just start to fill them on in. So don't worry about this space right here. You might be wondering how I'm going to connect it. I should probably get rid of that sandstone. Uh, I, what I'm planning on doing is... I'm going to see if this is actually even going to work. I'm going to run this down right here. And this is going to be, obviously, this wood is going to be the second level floor. I do plan on adding an, adding an attic. That's a little bit of a tongue twister to this build. So there we go. And it's probably going to be up here somewhere because that's like where I have the space. Plus there's a window up there, so that would make sense. So we'll probably do that. And then basically this wood is just going to run down and I'm going to have an opening right there into this room. And that is basically how that's going to work. And I'll probably make this just a bedroom. Or no, you know what? This, this could be a cool spot for maybe a, 
a gaming room or even like a recreational area of the house. So maybe uh, a big screen TV, a pool table, stuff like that. That would be kind of a cool spot for that. So we'll definitely keep that in mind in the ideas bank. So I'm going to start to just basically just fill this in to start. And then what we can do is we can punch windows out later. Let's just start off with the basics and then we can come in and detail it. That's always seemed to to work. I'm going to just stick to that plan. It's been working throughout this whole build, so we're not going to we're not going to fix it if it isn't broken, like I always say. Okay. Well, like everybody says, cuz that's a pretty common expression. All right. So, let's take this down here and then the uh, same thing goes right here. We can't forget about this part. Uh, I also got to figure out how tall I want these ceilings to be. That's going to be another thing to uh, to consider because that matters when the when it comes to the windows. But it's probably not going to be too hard of a decision considering the fact that I probably already filled it in right here. Yeah, so it'll probably just be as tall as those ceilings. No biggie. So we'll just keep on filling this in. And double stacking the walls does take away from the interior uh, space a little bit. But in my opinion, it's, it's the most worth it thing you can do is double stack walls. And I've been doing it since the Alpine Mansion last year and... You know, never looking back. As long as it's a decent enough size build, double stacking the walls is the way to go, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down here. Just kind of fill it back up right here and just create myself like a small little space there, which is eventually going to be something like that. Okay, so next thing we got to do is put in the ceiling. So uh, I just want to quickly recount the coordinates on this thing, make sure it's still 9 by 13 and I didn't change anything to it. I don't think I did, but just to be safe, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I've been using so much dark oak wood lately, which I love. This is my favorite block for wood now. It makes spruce wood look so much lighter, you know what I mean? Uh, back, spruce wood used to be like the darkest uh, wood and just like the one that I think looks the nicest. I've talked about this before, and if you guys know my building style, you know that I'm a big fan of the darker woods in Minecraft. They're my favorites. Not saying that I don't like the other ones. I actually like all the woods in the default. But uh, the, dark, the dark oak wood is my favorite. And I was, it was pretty nice because uh, this Let's Build ha had already been started when that came out. So we kind of got it halfway through the series. Uh, well, not halfway, but like, you know, after the first episode or two. Anyway, the problem with double stacking walls, guys, is you have to do a little twice the work. So double the work, double the stacks. So I'm going to have to fill this in with some sandstone as well. And once we get this whole wall filled in, I'm going to start punching out some windows. So we're just going to fill this in real quick. It shouldn't take too much longer. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, later on in this build, there's a good chance I'm going to be filling in some walls and speed up. I was thinking about just skipping them completely, doing them off camera, but I think it'd be worthwhile for you guys to kind of see that process. So uh, after I put in the ceiling on the first floor, I think I'm going to start filling in the floor plan. Since we have a first floor floor plan that seems, you know, pretty, pretty solid, and uh, I swear, these, these tongue twisters are coming out today. The first floor floor plan. We got these alliterations going and stuff. It's just, it's blowing my mind. But let's go ahead and start to fill in the ceiling here. Because obviously we need to know where the ceiling is before we can add windows. So I'm just going to kind of take this and just, you know, basically just fill it in. Just as simple as this. And try to get this part done, um, you know, in a timely fashion so we can get to the sunroom today. And I might start making these episodes a little bit longer, guys. Uh, maybe instead of 20 minutes, 20 to 25, 30 minutes. Uh, because, you know, I want to get as much done on these uh, videos as possible. Be super productive. And I still want to try to hit that uh, that landmark of... That's not really a good word. I'm, I don't know. That quota, I guess you could say, of a 16-episode series. We are on episode 11. So after this, we only got five episodes left to work on this thing. However, despite um, how much work we've done in the first 11 episodes, well, you know, 10 and a half, we're about, we're almost done with episode 11, but I think we've been making some pretty solid progress on this thing, being pretty productive, building quickly, building efficiently is more important than building quickly, to be honest, and uh, I'm pretty happy, so I, I just got to keep on, you know, keeping this pace, and, you know, we'll, we should be able to finish this thing in a pretty good, pretty timely manner, so. Uh, other than Los Angeles, my longest let's build for like one house, like one individual build, I think is 20 episodes, which was a, a really old mansion that I built back in Danville. I think it was 20 episodes long. So this is going to be one of the longer let's builds I've done, unless I'm missing one. I guess the castle, but that doesn't count either, because that's a mega build, and that just doesn't really, you know, apply to this thing, because this is not really a mega build per se. It's really just a, you know, just a house. That's what it is. I'm sure that if I would have continued to pursue the Japanese Let's Build, 
that probably would have been a 15 to 20 par series if I continued that one. But I decided to just build it off camera because I just wasn't finding a lot of inspiration on camera. And, uh, you know, the Japanese house turned out good. We ended up finishing it. So, you know, usually when I start a project, it's 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 very, very unlikely that I will, you know, just go without finishing it. That just doesn't happen very often. I usually am pretty, um, pretty you know, consistent when it comes to finishing things. But right now we have a little bit of a, an inconsistency here, which I am not a big fan of. I don't know why there's like a, something sticking out right here and then not on this side. That's a little bit of a problema. So the reason why this is a problem is because, you know, there's a wall right here and there isn't one on this side. So it kind of like sticks out on this side and it doesn't stick out on that side. You know, I could do that, right? That That's a possibility, but I don't really like how that frames that space. So I'm gonna, I have an idea guys. I think this might work. This is just an old builder's trick that I think I can implement here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just knock out this wall completely, right? Up against the corner here. And we're just gonna push it in one block basically. And then what I can do is fill in this wall because that's right above the staircase. So a real simple fix, nothing too crazy here. And then there's gonna be a, do a doorway right here at some point. Um, I haven't decided actually. I think I should do some dark, well, dark oak wood doors are my, my go-to doors right now. They're, they're just a solid looking door, I like those. And I think I'll just do something simple like that. I'll just have that, uh, I'll leave that closed and have that one be open. Because I, I, it's not perfect because it's kind of like right up against the wall and I'm not a huge fan of that, but I could make it one by or one block wide. So like this, but then it looks a little bit unsymmetrical and it's going to be like right up against the railing. We could do that. Actually, that's not too bad. Maybe I will do that. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, uh, this is just going to get filled in, but I do have to do a quick check on the staircase to make sure that there's enough headroom because that's always a little bit of a, a challenge. So I'll toss down a upside down stair right there. And I think that should, oh wait, nope. I have to fill this in. I forgot about that. So we're gonna have to knock this down one extra block. Hopefully I have enough uh, headroom for this. I didn't really think about this when I first put it in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, good, we can get past there. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you know what guys? I don't really have that much of a problem with that. It's fine. I do like the staircase on this house though. It's tough to add staircases. That's one of the hardest things to do. I think, uh, I think we built something kind of cool here. So anyway, coming back over here, um, the, the ceiling, I counted, by the way, real quick, the ceiling is 13 blocks tall, which is cool because it's kind of like a 13 by 13 by 9 in here. So it's all odd numbers, which is great. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is f do some sort of railing right here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. So I think for, for just for right now, I, I'm not going to waste uh, time this episode on this. But I think for right now, I'm just going to put some, some anvils there. That won't stay that bland. I'm going to add some more fancy detail to that. But... This room is going to be uh, something cool. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab some dark oak wood slabs and stairs. I think I'm gonna grab some full dark oak wood blocks as well. And this is uh, something that I might actually need to drink some milk for. So I have, I no longer have my night vision because I'm gonna be building some chandeliers guys that you may or may not have to swing from. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go one block away from the corner Right there, I think, as well, and I'll do that. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, let's do that. So, basically, right now, I'm just going to kind of make the ceiling look pretty, is pretty much what I'm going to do right now. So, I'm going to take this down and have it run across. We should probably build the chandelier soon, because I'm about to run out of night vision. It's going to be dark in a second. You guys can't see. I'm just going to drink night vision for now, and then once we build the chandeliers, we can turn that off, but... Each one of these little uh, connections, intersections between the slabs, I'm going to throw down some uh, just a regular blocks. And then I think dead center here, which would be the middle, which would be right here, I'm going to add two more. So we got three blocks here, one space, three blocks, and then one. So it's kind of three, one, three, one, three, one. Uh, yeah, three, or no, one, three, one, three, one. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. We'll run this down here and take this across, and then I'm going to obviously... Add some more of this dark oak wood, just the regular blocks, the logs, I guess you could call them. And we have ourselves just something in the ceiling that just makes it look a little bit more fancy. So we can even, we can jack this up even more. I have some more ideas for you guys. Um, chiseled quartz and maybe, um, what do we not need right now? We don't need this anymore. So I could do some upside down quartz stairs, right? And kind of just turn this 
and this is just going to add even more detail to the ceiling which is you know you can never put enough detail on a ceiling in my opinion ceilings are one of those things where you know they're just up there and if they they're flat and boring you know it takes away from the house when you can fancy them up and this is something that i've learned over my experience on building is just you know the more you add detail to things as long as you don't go overboard the better they become and then and just you know they just become your own build so something like that and then what i think i'm going to do is take down a couple of dark oak wood fences i don't know how far yet i think i'm going to take them down pretty far because i want these chandeliers hanging fairly low to the ground so they're kind of like right above a potential dining room table talked about this a little bit last episode going to throw down some anvils at the top here i just like to put anvils at the top of these things so it looks like it's connected to the ceiling by some sort of bolt um, all right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to clear the inventory. I'm going to quickly grab another night vision potion. I could lay down some glowstone, but I'm just a little bit too lazy. It, I, it really depends on my mood. Like, sometimes I just can't tolerate the uh, night vision potions, but sometimes I can deal with them. On Los Angeles, they bug me because it makes the world lag, it seems like. so. But then again, Los Angeles is a much older world on a much older console <laughs> than, we're, than we're working with right here. So I'm going to go ahead and break that block and replace it with a cobblestone gonna go ahead and throw down a pane underneath it here and put a beacon and this is going to be my standard chandelier design with the stained glass that I've been using lately stained glass you know it has a lot of purposes now in Minecraft on console one of them is chandeliers it's uh, something that I've been waiting to do for a long time and it was cool because uh, we kind of got a preview of this on the fantasy texture pack with the castle let's build because the glass in that texture pack was yellow. So I was able to build chandeliers like this long before stained glass even came out and kind of have a preview of that. So here's what it's going to look like when it's complete. And as you can see, it's hanging real low to the ground. It might not, that might be a little bit too low to the ground, um, but we can, we can always mix and match later, but that's going to be kind of my basic chandelier idea when it comes to this house and I love this. I love it with the white stained. It looks really, really good. I think, uh, just a, uh, it just looks great. I, I don't. I originally talked about not adding chandeliers like this, a few episodes back. If you guys might remember, towards the end of an episode, I talked about, well, these chandeliers might not fit this build. But the more I think about it, these chandeliers are pretty universal for all styles, um, as long as it's like a mansion. It's fancy. So I mean, you don't want to throw a chandelier like this in a random, you know, dirt shack. But other than that, you know. It can fit in a lot of different uh, styles of build. So we have our two chandeliers kind of hanging down right here. And I think these look great. I really do. I, I love this design. I've been using this a lot lately on Los Angeles. And just another implementation of this thing here on the Let's Build. So uh, another thing I want to do just to close out the video, guys, because we are we are just we are just cruising through this video right now. But I think I am going to punch open some windows at some point. So I think I'm going to do a three block wide window dead center here because that would make sense we're just kind of sticking to that theme i'm just going to have this go all the way up to a point where it's kind of like well i think we'll do that that's fine i'm gonna come up here as well and punch open a window have it go one block above the yep that's perfect so yeah this is just kind of where i'm going to conclude i'll start to detail these windows later next episode and uh, we are running a little bit long on time, so I don't think I'm going to get to the sunroom today. We'll start off next episode with that. How about that, guys? But uh, we're making some great progress in this build. It's just coming together. And I think I'm going to skip a couple of blocks here. Maybe just one block and do another uh, three block wide window. Or maybe just two blocks wide or three blocks wide. Three blocks wide is good. So we'll just do a bunch of three block wide windows here. So we'll do this one is going to be a three by four. And then the ones on the second level are going to be a 3x3 three because three, there's not as much space up there. So 3x4, three 3x3, three three, and then I'll start to put some sort of lining in the middle of those, and we'll detail these next episode. This is starting to come together, guys. It's looking good. All right, so let's get this one last window punched out. And I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you guys for watching. We have some windows, at least the, the frames of them punched out. It's not As you can see, it's not symmetrical on this wall because there's two blocks uh, gap there as opposed to one. The reason why that is is because I had to move this over to connect to the other side, and just the way it lined up wasn't 100% perfect. But I don't. once I add more detail to this thing, I think it's going to be barely noticeable, and I don't really think it's going to matter all that much. And I could. there are ways around that still, so I could dabble with that next episode, but... As, you can, as of right now, that's where those windows are going to be, and we're going to add details to those later. And you can kind of see the back of the house starting to come together. So uh, we still have a lot more work to do. 
but we've made some great progress so far. Thanks for watching episode 11, guys. I'll come back to you guys with episode 12 of the Victorian Mansion Let's Build. Really liking this house. It's starting to come together. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.